Hey guys, here is lesson 4.8 zeros in the product. Our essential question for today is how do you know you have the correct number of decimal places in your product? So go ahead and put your star next to your central question. Um, we're going to connect what we've been learning um, to these word problems that we're seeing today. This is when decimals are multiplied, the product may not have enough digits to place the digit the decimal point. In these cases, you may need to write additional zeros. Students are racing typical garden snails and measuring the distance the snails travel in one minute. Chris's snail travels a distance of ten, two tenths foot. Jamie's snail travels four tenths times as far as Chris's snail. How far does Jamie's snail travel? So over here is asking, describe what you are being asked to find. We're asked to find how far Jamie's snail is going to travel. So I'm just going to underline that so I answered that question. I'm also going to circle that Chris's snail went two tenths of a foot and Jamie's snail travels four tenths times as far as. And I know I'm going to multiply when I see the word four times as much as. Times as much as it's going to tell me I'm going to be multiplying. So we are going to multiply the whole numbers. We're going to multiply just like I've taught you. Set it up just like normal. We know that two times um, four is eight, and all of these others are zero. So determine the position of the decimal point in the product. So I know that there are one, two places behind the decimal, so I'm going to move it one, two places. So here's my decimal. So since there's an empty space right here, I'm going to put my zero. And then when I rewrite it, I'm going to say zero and eight hundredths instead of just 0 0.08. Um, if we place the de decimal point, um, are there enough digits in the product to place the decimal point? No, and that's why we had to add the zero. It's like a placeholder for it. So Jamie's snail travels a distance of eight hundredths foot. Okay. All right, so let's go to the back of this page. It says multiply 2 tenths times 30 cent. So you would multiply as with whole numbers. So you would multiply it just like we normally would. 0 times 2 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. That's a 0. And nothing else is going to change. So I'm going to see 1, 2, 3. The reason I wouldn't do the next row is because everything would be 0. So you'd just be adding it with 0, which would be the same number. So I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3 places. 1, 2, 3 places. So here's where my decimal goes. I'm going to rewrite it. 0, 6, 0, which would be the same as 6 cent because I don't need that extra zero. Since, um, it says since the problem involves dollars and cents, what place value should you show since? We know that the hundredths place is where we're gonna show since. Hundredths, we're not gonna go to the thousandths place when we're talking about money. We're just gonna go to the hundredths place. So if I multiplied two tenths times 30 cent, it would give me six cents or six hundredths, but we would say it as six cents. All right, so this next one, we're gonna go ahead and set it up. I'm gonna have zero and five hundredths times two tenths. Two times five is 10, that's one. That's zero, and I don't have to do the next row because it's just gonna be zero. So I'm gonna see one, two, three times, one, two, three times. So if I rewrote it, it would be one hundredth. Now, could I write ten thousandths? Oops, I did that completely wrong, sorry. 
Could I write it like this? Absolutely. I could write it as this or this. Both of these would be correct answers. All right. Like I said, we've done this enough at this point. It's getting a lot easier for you to actually do it. And since this is the last lesson of the book, you really need to solidify making sure you understand what you're doing and how you're doing it. Um, so this one, I know they just, they've already multiplied everything for me. So I'm going to figure out where my decimal is going to go. One, two, three spots. One, two, three three spots so it go right here there's a space right here so I'm gonna put my zero right there and I'm gonna rewrite my number let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit for you rewrite my number as zero and thirty five thousandths all right let's do one more together and then I'm gonna let you fly actually we'll do a couple more together so this one I have one, two spots. So I'm gonna go one, two spots, put my decimal, add my zero. I'm gonna rewrite my answer as six hundredths. All right, so now I want you to do number three on your own. I want you to pause the video real quick. And here is what you should have ended up as your answer for thousands. Okay, so now what I want you to do, you're going to multiply just like we have been doing and finding your answer. So I want you to do four, five, six, seven, nine, twelve, fourteen. Now I want you to do fifteen and try to do sixteen for me to so do those two hot problems at the bottom. Flip. 18, 19, and 20, okay? So do those word problems. Those are really good practices, especially for getting ready for the upcoming test. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great day. If you have any questions, make sure to pop onto the Google Meet so that you can ask me questions. Have a great day.